Hi, Ocean Eric here with Famous Person Yubi, and we are talking Socionics Quadras. I've got some excitement for us to look at. This is from a commenter, Yeghor. He sent me this link, and we'll look at his, uh, I think that was his name, is. we'll look at his comment in a second, but uh, first let's look at this. So, one of his contentions, one of his claims is that Socionics functions may they may they may be best thought of if they lined up differently. For example, he wanted to ask me which of these sounds more like it applies to me as an ENTP, and then I'll do the same thing for you with F E um, uh, at U B. Okay, so this says S I is vulnerable function E I E or L I E. Individuals who possess introverted sensing as a polar function tend to be negligent of its effect and have the view that S I aspects are of less importance than others for achieving their goal. They put a low the priority on the physical short distance here and now in relation to longer distance and longer term considerations. A typical manifestation of vulnerable SI is a high need for activity and change, inability to feel the heaviness of one's internal physical state as well as surrounding world, poor capacity to relax and take it in slowly, a lack of concern for one's comfort and relaxation, as well as aesthetic details. Given a greater, since a greater focus is given on the opinion that in the longer term, taking care of this is a never ending and pointless exercise. Weak sensing also manifests as a relative lack of awareness of the immediate makeup of surroundings, as in noticing and remembering locations of objects, even if you don't have to deal with them, and denoting their characteristics granted their internal physical qualities. A lack of concern for small aesthetic details is more visible in the LIE, the logical intuitive extrovert, that's going to be the uh, ENTJ. In the case of the EIE, that's E and FJ, the low focus of on in, on SI is more noticeable as a dislike for performing low-level upkeep activities and practical chores, which are set aside in favor of activities of informational and immaterial nature, writing, reading, debating, theoretical discussions, browsing the net, etc. Due to individuals who possess introverted sensing as a fourth function, believing that SI aspects are of less importance, they tend to be thrown off course by neglected and newly emergent SI matters. All right, so this, according to this page, is for the ENTJ and ENFJ. They have SI is their seventh function in, in, in uh, Myers-Briggs numbering, the vulnerable function, the one that for me it would be FI, for an INTP it would be SE, okay? So that's what they mean by vulnerable here is polar function. Vulnerable and polar are the same thing. It refers to the MBTI numbering of seven. It's the, uh, if you consider yourself a whatever you consider yourself, that you're, you're, it's the back side of your third function. Okay, so SI is suggestive function. Now this is for supposedly for my type. And what what Yeghor is trying to draw a point of here is these are similar and which one do I identify with more was the question he asked me. SI is suggestive function, I-L-E, I-E-E. -E. The individual tends to be chronically unaware of his own internal states. This includes physiological sensations and a sense of balance and alignment with one's true desires. He bases his decisions on what his own state is like at the moment, possessing a weak ability to keep track of past and potential future changes in his states, and thus being unable to appropriately anticipate and deal with them, which leads to a certain measure of fickleness, unsatisfaction, and frustration. The individual usually emphasizes physical attractiveness as a means of achieving social validations and acceptance and improving their mating potential, but does not see physical factors and parameters as a primary aim in life, primary means of achieving their goals and attaining their respectable position. Since this function is a weak one, such individuals often take a lot of pride and enjoyment in being able to skillfully deal with the physical world, manage their appearance such that they look attractive to their friends and partners, take care of their living space and material belongings, cook simple, cook appealing dishes, and take care of their health. However, the individual usually applies efforts in this area at a simple, rudimentary level, enabling himself to meet the standard expectation and does not develop and invest into it a great complexity and seriousness of approach. Okay, so which of those do I identify with more? Well, there's some stuff in the first one I identify with a lot, like um, low priority on the physical, short distance here and now. Uh, I I don't know about that one. Uh, in relation to longer distance and longer term, no. I, I'm the opposite. I tend to prioritize the here and now. Typical manifestation of vulnerability, but see this... Okay. A typical yeah, the first okay. section is the ENTJ and ENFJ more so. Right. So this one says SI is high need for activity and change. I identify with that. 
inability to feel the heaviness of one's internal physical state. I don't even know what that means. Uh, poor capacity to relax. I identify with that and take it slowly. I, I can I can have fun, but that's different than relaxing. Can you, uh, can you say that previous line? Sorry, one more time. The an inability to the, feel the heaviness of one's internal state. Huh. Okay. Okay. I meant I should be doing this. Sorry, I forgot to do this. It, the the viewers at home don't doesn't make any difference for what they see, but uh, for you guys now, you should be able to see what I'm seeing. Uh, okay, so. Poor capacity to relax and take it slowly. I understand. I emphasize. I mean, I agree with that. A lack of concern for one's comfort. No, hell no. I'm super interested in my comfort, not my relaxation, but my comfort. And I don't really care. I have trouble remembering about aesthetic details. So this is for them. This is this should be different, right? But then I agree with it. And a lack of concern for small aesthetic details is for something for me. They say that's for ENTJ. I don't find that to be the case for ENTJ. SI suggested function, this is me, it says uh, chronically unaware of his own internal states. Again, I'm not even sure what that means. This includes physiological sensations and a sense of balance and alignment with one's true desires. Physiological sensations and a sense of balance and alignment with my true desires? I don't even, I don't even the know The true what that desires means. part throws me off. I, I can understand maybe the physiological sensations thing. Like, or at least sometimes what I've, I've observed in ENTPs. Like peeing? Is that a physiological sensation? Um, I mean, yeah, but I don't think it means like that. I think it means like, you, like, instead of managing your internal states, like when you get uncomfortable, instead of managing it internally, like you try and manage your environment to change the way you feel. Instead of just doing it internally, like managing your own responses to your own emotions and sensations. Oh, okay. He bases decisions on what his own state is like at the moment. That's true. Listening to weak ability to keep track of the past. True. And future. True. That's being unable to appropriately anticipate and deal with them. True. Although I'm getting better. Which leads to a certain measure of fickleness. True. Unsatisfaction. True. Frustration. True. I have a low frustration tolerance sometimes. The individual usually emphasizes physical attractiveness. I don't, but it may just be because I'm not physically attractive. Um, if I were, I probably I probably would use it for. I, 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 I'm 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 not trying to be like humble or whatever. I'm just saying uh, it's it's not something that bothers me because I've already processed all that shit. You know, I don't have to worry about this. I'm old and I've already had two marriages. I don't worry about being a good looking guy, right? <laughs> At least to my concerns. Okay, so. Um, the individual usually emphasizes physical attractiveness. That doesn't apply to me, but it made it. I could see how it would to a lot of them. Since this function is a weak one, such individuals often take a lot of pride and enjoyment in being able to skillfully deal with the physical world. I do sort of identify with that. Manage their appearance such that they look attractive to their friends and partners. While I'm managing in this context in the sense that I care what shirt I'm wearing. Uh, <laughs> take care of their living space and material belongings. I don't really do that at all. I should give you guys a tour of my house. You'd be horrified. You'd be horrified. I should do that. We should do that. Uh, anyway, it's horrible. You should see it. Uh, let's see. Mating potential. Improving their... I do want to improve my mating potential. Okay, but does not see physical factors and parameters as a primary aim in life. Primary means of achieving their goals and attaining respectable position. True. Those things don't make any difference to me. So this function is a weak one. Such individuals, okay, we did that, uh, applies in the area, okay. The individual usually applies efforts in this area at a simple rudimentary level, enabling himself to meet the standard expectation. And this is, this is the sort of thing that that means for me, is it's like, look, Candace, I organized my drawer. Good, Eric. That's like a conversation I used to have periodically. That looks good, yeah, you did a great job there, Eric. <laughs> so to the original guy that sent you it do you agree with the first one more or the uh, second one second one uh, thank you for, thank you for yeah. bringing me back on topic I appreciate that uh, the second one I don't I don't I find that it's not backwards that in fact I agree much more with the second one than the first one with the exceptions noted yeah okay let's end this video and let's do you next okay okay 
Hello, Thanks. Joseph. Thanks for watching, Nuggets fans, people. Hi, Joseph.